hey guys welcome to my channel once again all right today i'll be doing something quite different now over time i have made some videos on uh, how to make designs using pixel lab but I, I got a lot of um comments from people privately saying that they needed to understand the real basic of pixel lab uh, which is why i'm going to do a crash course on pixel lab today all right let's get started when you open the pixel lab for the first time or as a new project this is how it will look like okay now this button right here here these are default background and formats that uh, that comes with a pixel lab for example if i click on this you see it comes like this you can edit the text it comes with all the effects and everything then you can uh, it gives you an idea for example the drop shadow and everything has been made available for you so it's uh, quite easy for you to start um, doing uh, working on okay, let's say okay something new up together as you can see that's for uh, this button right here all right i won't talk on this too let's go let's talk about everything that has to do with the background okay here this button right here is the background uh, it helps you customize the background you can give the background a color if you want you can give it this color that color um let me just restore this back to default okay so if i want to give you a color now you have color you have gradient gradient is a mixture of colors uh, with uh, variations to uh, different proportion okay so if you click on colors, you can quickly pick this color. If you're, the color you're looking for is not here, you can press the plus button and then, okay, maybe you want this and then you can just easily customize what you want, okay? If you have the uh, code, the number for the color, you can come here and insert it here, okay? If there's an image in your project that you want to pick the color from, you pick this pen button, pick up, all right, it will take you to this, the, uh, your project, all the image, all the whole, everything you have, it will take you there, then you select the one you want, say, okay, red, and you click on the good sign, automatically it has picked the color for you, okay, um, that's for that, for gradient, you have you can pick this that or you can just pick yours okay now here you have to do a lot of work uh, you, you can pick presets uh, angles and stuff like that you can move this just to give uh, variations you can change the color for this or the color for this the one you want to change the color you click on it click on the color let me give it white something white you see now it has white you move it to this point there you have it okay if you want something else like this you can click on plus and you have another one then you can give this a different color something like this all right um it depends on what you want you can decide to move this as you want and customize move around just what you want you can if you want area just left for you to just you know do what you want all right that being said i'm going to leave it like this okay there you have it that's for the background uh, i'm going to cast so that i don't want that okay so when the background to be transparent, click on transparent. The canvas you are using, right? The canvas, if you want um, the dimension to not to be a square, click on image size and then custom. You can pick square pictures, square YouTube channel banner, YouTube thumbnail, Facebook cover, Google Plus, and stuff like that. Just pick the one you want. Say I want Twitter header size. I click OK. It gives me this is the dimension for uh, a normal uh, Twitter header size. Okay. 
Now, if you don't want to go here, you can see come to this point, these three dots here. Click on it, you can see the image size here. All right. Okay. That being said, you can pick an image from the background. Uh, can pick an image here for your background. Preset image. Uh, there are amazing background images here. Okay. You can pick from your camera. Sorry, from your gallery. To take it to gallery. You can pick. I don't want to go over there. And you can pick from camera and take a picture all right that's for that then the next one we consider now is this last one here effect okay if the uh, vignette uh, noise stripes brightness all these are they work on the overall project everything you have here suppose you have made some designs and everything of added text pictures whatever you do here will affect everything so if I click on this, this will affect everything I have here. Um, noise, okay. Can enhance the noise. It will affect everything. Stripes, the kind of stripes you want. You want it to be repeated more or reduced, like that, okay. The brightness of the entire picture you can do all this the contrast the hue the saturation all right now let's move over to the um to the main one um over here okay i have i have these two let me talk about these two first the first one here is text all right this text uh if you click on styles you will see browse you have uh, default samples that the, uh, comes with uh, Pixel Lab. You can pick anyone here and use. You have my styles. That is, if you have saved anyone, all right. How do you save a style? Suppose you have this now. A, this is your text, and you want this kind of format. You have worked on it, put a lot of things on it, and you want to use it maybe next time for another design. You can just click on styles, then click on save. It will actually save this as a point. You say okay, you have saved it. Then if you need that, if you go to browse again and go to my styles, you have seen the sample that you made. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. Now you can edit the text. Okay. Good. Suppose this was not here. You click on A, you will see text and you see put. Alright, put a uh, inbuilt put that uh, comes with the application inspiration and stuff i have not used this um, lately but you can find uh, you know a lot of motivations here that you can post daily on your status on your, on your social media all right that being said um you can go here and click on text text come over to this place and then you click on edit and you click you cannot type my probably my text all right so now you have this good that's for edit you can delete you can co copy you can just to duplicate it you don't have two of it delete okay anything you want to work on here if it's a text make sure you have clicked on the text and then work on it uh, you have uh, bring to front send to back uh, position this is uh, moving to move the text in uh, in pixels okay if you keep it the pixel very high if you move it to move this much this much but if you reduce this is good to make minute uh, uh movement okay little position this is talk about uh, left right up down left right down up um like that okay then you have the size, you can increase the size. Then you have padding, padding left, the space towards the left and that of the right. Sometimes some text misbehaves and you, you have to use this to uh, readjust, okay? We have color, you can give it the color. You can adjust the one you want to give the color. 
and give the color you want give the color you want um this and i want to give my uh, see this is awkward but let's just do it okay you can see um the same thing applies if you want the gradient you can do the same thing we, uh, we did for the background you can text is just to add an image to it um if you pick an image let me just pick this image All right to pick an image you can also go here select and pick a background image that you have already okay i don't have anyone i don't have anyone i don't have anyone to pick the, here to pick an image just go here click on it and pick a background image you want all right um opacity the transparency of the text if you want it to affect the shadow you click on this and then you have rotate um, mask is a little bit advanced max is if you know how to customize it uh, just for you to deal to max something cover one part and remove one part of it so if you can customize this you can use it to make a lot of shapes I want the out to show okay you can see now I'll make a tutorial on how to use Max to create uh, unique shapes uh, you have your font my font if you want to uh, install font from your file manager you can click here the recent font I used okay style bold italics underline not not nothing at all okay um curve to bend the text side to fit what i want in case you need something like that background this is to give a text background this looks nice most times okay click on the text and we stop that background then you have a line you want the text that's if when you have multiple of text let me do something like this Quite much. Okay. Align. Okay. Justify to line. Right. Center. Then justify or make everything balanced. Okay. There you have it. Then spacing. Spacing between the letters. Right. Then spacing between the words. height height between each line okay stroke that's the lining of uh, the text the width of it you can increase it and decrease it left what you want to do uh, you have shadow outer shadow inner shadow okay what else do we have i'm trying to rush we have emboss all right let me quickly um remove this okay text now let's go to emboss i want to so you can see what emboss does I, I can you see the difference now uh, this is used to customize some things this is not a three dimensional uh, a three dimension shape but it um, gives it a kind of unique and lovely look okay um, you have perspective depending what you, what you want um, let me do that again you see that just to sh change the orientation of the shape okay three dimensional shape to change text three dimension 
I'll teach you how to do this very soon. How to use that. You have 3D shape. Make it 3D shape and the depth and stuff like that. The next one I'm sorry I'm rushing is um shadow. You have the shadow. Um Okay, that's for shadow. Um, we have reflection. There you have it, reflection. Uh, okay. What else have we talked about? Okay, I think we are done with this part of uh, text. Uh, almost everything we have discussed here applies to shapes. Let me delete this. For shapes, you come to the center, all right. You have stickers. Um, depending on what, on what you want, okay. Approved. I don't know that there, there are a, a host of things you can do. This is star. Okay, you have other stickers here. Okay. You have emojis. All right, you can assess that from stickers. You have import, import an image. You have draw. Then you have shapes. If you click on this place, these are the pre, uh, inbuilt shapes you have here. Let's say we want to use this, um, you can go here and pick a color for it. You can the opacity, what else? the stroke, if you want it to have stroke, then the opacity of the stroke, the stroke color, and other things. Okay. Um, that being said, okay, you have this now. Mm, what else? Bizarre. Okay, this is used for creating a uh, shape on its own. Alright, use it to create shape on its own. I'm not going to go into that. That's kind of pretty advanced. Then you have arrows. I use arrows to create lines. You can come here. And make sure both end and this. Uh, if you want an arrow, you can click, but I want both end to be okay. There you have it. Okay, that's all. Then the other thing remaining now is how to customize each of them. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this one. Customize each of them. Now, if you need to edit the shape, click on edit and then change some things back to delete to crop it to crop it to pick a particular dimension to copy to send to back send to front uh, position relative size relative size width height This is to adjust the size of a, of a ship, okay? The color, we've talked about colors. Everything applies. Color filter, hue, saturation, and um, brightness, contrast, stroke, eraser. Okay, mask. Talk about masks. Now, uh, to erase color, 
Less color is something I use often. Let me just quickly show you what I mean. Let me create another shape. This. Okay, I have this together now. Probably I should make another one. Mm, copy. Good. Don't worry, I will explain what, what, what I'm doing very soon. Let me just do this. So suppose this, this is one shape now. Erase color. Automatically it will erase the white color. Okay, I believe you can see this now. It has erased the white color. Alright. But if you don't want it to erase the white color, just pick the pen tool, select the color you want it to remove. And it removes it and you have the white remaining. Okay, I believe that is clear. What else again? Rotate and the rest. I've talked about all of this. Right, the, the remaining thing now is the up part of it. This, if you click here to add uh, text, current date, sticker, shape, uh, add image from gallery, and to draw. All right, this uh, is also a shortcut to to duplicate, change location, rotate, send to back, send to front. Uh, here is to go back now what about pixel lab there's no going of there's no going to the front so if you go back you can't go front again let's say you made a mistake and you went back you can't go forward again you only go backward you can zoom okay to make adjustment now this one is uh is called um Okay, this one is called the grid line, right? The grid line. This is just to um, give you an idea so that you, your work will be arranged. Maybe you want it to be in the center or a particular position. However, if you click on this magnetor sign, this will magnet your shape as you move it to, to maintain a particular uh, ratio with the whole image size so click on this you'll be able to adjust any of the grid line you want to to suit what you want okay uh, right that's for that mm, i don't want that oh i have to reset that reset 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 good okay this is layer right now i have two layers i have one because i have two shapes this one is one of the layers this is another another layer all right suppose you want to edit them you can click here and work on one of them you can lock one of them not to move so this cannot move again but this can move the rest will just the other one will just be there okay you can lock you can make one invisible so that you will see what you are doing and they make it visible you can delete from there you can also merge by merging what you are doing is you are trying to make two or more shapes to become one so if i click here and then select the ones i want one and this okay then you see this place this is merge click on it Confirm and say OK merge. Now these two holds have become one. Good. That's how uh, layers and merge uh, work. Here is to save, to share, to add puts. Here to use image from gallery, full screen if you if you wish. Um, export image, image size, tutorials, 
you come out to save open.p now this is a project you have worked on to open it okay now you can save this as a project or as an image as a project in the sense that you want to re-edit it later so when you open it you can continue where you stopped um, for here you can export image uh, you have pick share uh, image format i will always recommend um, png then the quality you want default custom low ultra i always go with ultra so that the quality will be very high then i'll click save to gallery or to share depending on what you want all right this is the the crash course for pixel lab the very first one the next video we are going to make something very basic uh, with all we have learned so far. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have learned something today.